How you doing, YouTube family? Uh, I've had a problem with a 08 Impala in the past. I uh, went in, turned the ignition key, and I couldn't get it out of park. There's a solenoid that releases, that lets it out of park and locks it into park. Uh, if you come around the passenger side here, I'll show you where you can reach it. If you ever have that situation. Right up under here, about in line with this, you gotta pull this on the side and reach in. There's a button you can push that'll release that and let it come out of park. GM should have did a recall on this. This wiring breaks from you moving the shifter back and forth, but they didn't do a recall on it. Not surprising, there's other things they should have done recalls on. Now I have an incident where uh, I can't get my key out of my ignition after I put it in park, so I'm figuring another wire broke. So I'm going to be pulling the center console out. I'm going to have to make a second part to this. But to get the center console out, you just got to remove those rubber pads. I don't know if you can see it. There's a couple of screws down in there. They got to come out. This bezel pops right off. Then there's more screws down in here. They got to be removed. Four more screws. Then that center console comes out. And I'm going to check out the wiring. I may have to rewire this whole thing. I will uh, make a part two to this. But as you can see, that key is in there. The key won't turn all the way to the off position. And it's stuck in there. Somebody had a video about an 06, I think, where it was supposed to release lever in here. I opened this up, and I didn't find the release lever in there. So my car is sitting with the uh, key stuck in it, and I had to disconnect the battery to keep from killing it because the accessories are on. Okay, I'll be back with part two. Uh, I appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe, trying to make this channel grow. I'm working on getting a Pro GoPro, too. I went to purchase two of them and got screwed around. I guess it was scam companies. So that'll make the videos better, and hopefully I can share some useful information to you guys. Okay, take care. Hi, YouTube family. Paul Phillips here. Uh, got an issue with an 08 Chevy Impala. Let me show you what's going on. The first time I had it happen... The car wouldn't come out of park when I depressed the brake and tried to release the uh, shifter. It stays stuck. There's a little solenoid here that moves, supposed to move, but the wire breaks on these. Every time you move the shifter, this is where it plugs in. And when you move the shifter, the entire plug moves, breaking the wires, like bending a paper clip back and forth. They're very light gauge wire, I think 20 or 22 gauge. Uh, what I did is I just isolated that with a zip tie just so I could use the car Now the last situation I had I pulled in put it in park turned the key off and I couldn't uh, Turn the key all the way in the off position It stayed to accessories on and the key was stuck in the ignition Another wire broke. I don't know the function of every one of these wires But the one with the purple and white stripe on it is the one that uh, does that key release function let me show you the part you're going to need to get to repair this. It's AC Delco PT3923. That's PT3923. It's this connector. It has uh, six leads on it, but you only need four of them. All right? You're going to set them up. I made a little diagram here. The top left one with the... Uh, with the uh, little catch to the left. Top left one is yellow. Then the uh, top right one on the other side is black. The one below that is the green with the stripe and the one on the bottom is the purple with the stripe. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these wires in because I want a real solid connection. I don't wanna use those crimp-ons. I'm gonna solder these. I got heat shrink tape here on here. And then I'm going to hot glue this down to the body base. So this, I'm not going to cut this short. I saw another guy do this and he cut this short. But it's creating the same problem with a short piece of wire that's just going to get stressed. I'm going to leave a bigger loop in here. That way uh, metal fatigue won't happen as quick. And uh, this should last until this car rots. All right. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please subscribe and give a like. I'm trying to make my channel grow. Uh, you can email me at liesnot2k at gmail.com. That's liesnot2k at gmail. Feel free to uh, contact me and leave any comments. And uh, please give a subscribe and a like. I'm trying to make my channel grow, and I'm getting a GoPro soon.
the videos will be done better. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube family. Paul Phillips at LiesNot2K at Gmail. That's LiesNot2K at Gmail. Uh, I just wanted to show you the end result of the uh, repair on that wiring that harness is in. I left a long sweep of wires so it won't be that much movement on a short area to cause fatigue on those wires to make them break again. I soldered them and heat shrinked them. I used electronic solder and I hot glued this down to the floor. So that way it's not going to move and there'll be a lot of movement in here. And that should last a good old long time. Okay, guys. I hope that was helpful. That took me about 40 minutes or so to do. Good luck, and uh, I hope this helped you guys. Please give a like and subscribe, and uh, feel free to comment. Thanks. Bye-bye.